Hi, Alliance Kids. It's Miss Kim again, back with a kid's moment. What is faith? Well, I did some studying and I looked up in the Webster's Dictionary and it says, faith com is complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Hmm. Then I looked it up in our Bible, in the book of Hebrews, which is in the New Testament, chapter 11. And it says, now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Hmm. That kind of reminds me of our lesson last week. Remember doubting Thomas? Yeah. Well, I brought a few things along with me today to help explain what faith is. There's a lot of things that I don't understand, even as an adult. And so hopefully these things will help us understand it a little bit. So for instance, I brought a CD. Now, I love music. I don't know how in the world all that beautiful music fits on this little CD. When I look at it, I can't see the words or the music but I know when I put it in my CD player, out comes beautiful music. How about this one? Cell phones. I use this all the time. I don't understand how it works. But it amazes me that I can push a few buttons or a few letters and send a text, or I can call someone, or I can even FaceTime and see someone on this little device. I don't understand how it works, but I use it all the time, and it's a really good tool to use. I'm sure we all know what this is. We've all been sick at some point, had a fever or a stuffy nose, and then we get the medicine out. I don't know how it works, but it does. I mean, really, how does this medicine, once it gets in your body, know where to go and what to do? but I know it works because I've used it and it makes me feel a lot better. How about this one? This, well, it's kind of old, but this is a calculator. A lot of times we use our calculators on our phones too. But you know, I can punch these little buttons and put in a problem and it, it gives me the answer every time. I don't know how this thing works. I don't understand it, but I use it and I know it works. You know, I love to go camping. One thing I always take with me when I go camping, a flashlight. It's really important at night to have a flashlight so you can see where you're going if you go on a night hike or whatever. But you know, I don't really understand how it works. I know that it, there's a light bulb in there and I know you have to put batteries in and and there's an off on button, but I still don't really know how it works, but I really depend on it when I go camping. Look at this. I'm sure we all know what this is. Especially nowadays, we're probably doing a little more of this since we're in our homes a lot more, but this is a remote control. I don't understand how I can sit in my comfy chair point this little device to my TV, and I can choose whatever channel I want to watch. I can choose how loud I want it. And you know, I can even pause it and go get a snack, come back, and start my show right where I left off. I have full control of my TV. I don't get how it works, but it does. And I've been using it a lot lately, probably more than I should. We got a lot more time on our hands, don't we, these days, but it's okay. So you're probably wondering, what do all of these things have to do with faith? Well, let's go back to our CD. I don't know how, but God always puts a song in my heart. Sometimes even when I'm down or sad or having a great day, he always puts a song in my heart. I know that I can always talk to God through prayer, anytime, anywhere, 
It could be two o'clock in the morning if I need to talk to him. And I know he's there. I don't understand it, but he hears me and he answers my prayers. I might not always understand the answers that he gives me because there's three answers to prayer. Yes, no, let's wait and see. But you know, he always hears us and he always answers our prayers. I don't understand, but God can heal my pain or my sadness in my heart. He's always there. And you know, I even have some friends that have been healed from diseases. God heals, just like this medicine. You know, anytime I have a problem, God always has the answer. I don't understand it, but he does. And guess what? The Bible says that God is my light. He's going to show me the right path to take in my life and the right choices to make. I need to read his word, and he gives us all the answers right there. It is the light to my path. I don't understand how God is in total control, sitting up on his throne in heaven. He controls everything that's on going on on earth. I don't get it, but he does. And you know what? Even in scary times or times like now that we're living through, it's so different that we don't really understand. We don't have to understand it because God is in full control. You know, in our Bibles, in the book of Psalms, it says, be still and know that I am God. That's faith. That's what faith is. Let's look at our Bible verse again in Hebrews 11. It says, now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Wow, I hope you've learned a little bit about faith today. Let's pray. Thank you, God, that, that we don't have to understand everything that's going on around us. We can trust and have faith that you are always in control. Amen. I have a little challenge for you and your parents today. So in the Bible, in the book of Hebrews, Chapter 11, I would love for you guys to go in there and read that with your parents and talk about it because there are all kinds of examples of people in the Bible that lived by faith. And I think you're going to recognize a lot of those stories. Well, until next time, this is Miss Kim signing off.